divine truth frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and public. The subject of this session is spirits. This is session one. How can we learn to perceive spirits for ourselves? Well, perceiving spirits uh, is all about developing emotionally and uh, intellectually in certain directions. Obviously, if we have huge amounts of fear, as, a, as I've indicated in other answers to these questions, if we have huge amounts of fear to the concept of a spirit world, it's highly unlikely we're going to develop any sensory apparatus we might have as a part of our being to determine whether such a world exists and determine how to perceive spirits. So firstly, it's going to depend very much on our open-mindedness with regard to our belief systems. We, if we have very, very fixed and firm belief systems, it's highly unlikely that we will want to develop any perception of spirits. So firstly, we need to confront our belief systems. Mm-hmm. Secondly, if our belief systems are very fixed and firm, our, or we have a lot of fear, we are going to resist any evidence that comes to us as to the existence of the spirit world and people in the spirit world, even though it's something that once we pass, we'll recognise automatically almost. And the problem with that, of course, is that we finish up, we finish up ending up with this situation where we're, we're so afraid, we're religiously afraid, we're scientifically afraid, we're, we're, we're afraid on so many levels to investigate the truth, So, of course, we're not going to want to open up any potential perceptive powers that we may have to determine the ability, you know, the the communication ability to be between ourselves and spirits. So our best course of action, really, firstly, is to look at all of the emotional reasons and belief systems that we have within us that oppose such a concept Mm -hmm. and look at releasing them from ourselves emotionally. We need to get rid of them if we're ever going to develop any perception powers that allow us to communicate with, see and hear and experience the experience of spirits in a day to day, in our day to day life. The more fear we have and the more resistance we have, the less we're going to investigate. That's the reality. So what I would suggest if a person wants to develop this perception is that they must first work through all of these belief systems and fears that cause them to wish that such a thing is not exist that is not true that, that that it doesn't exist then of course once we've worked our way through that we could devise a group of experiments that will help us develop these perception powers if they actually exist so firstly we could imagine what kind of perceptive powers might exist and then we could develop experiments just like a scientist would to to confront the truth about the issue whether it exists or not And uh, some people are doing this currently on the planet, but very few. My suggestion is that it needs to be much more, uh, a much more mainstream scientific endeavour than what it is currently. Mm -hmm. Once we do that, then we have released all of our fears. We've released all of our belief systems that, that tell us that it's not true. And now we have the ability to determine whether it's true or not, rather than just saying, no, it's not true and not even investigating then we need to take a form of investigation that, that is scientific in its nature and allows us to develop different characteristics and also study the people who have already or who already claim to develop, have developed such characteristics and find out what is unique to them. Mm-hmm. And in the end, you usually find that these people have been talking to spirits ever since they were children and nobody shut them down, nobody turned it off, mm-hmm. nobody imposed upon them any rules about it. And as a result, this communication ability and the sight ability continued from the time they were a child right the way through to their current time. Alternatively, we often see that somebody had a life experience of some kind that caused their perception to change that allowed them to develop certain characteristics within themselves that they wouldn't have previously developed. And from that point in time, they could see and hear or communicate with spirits and therefore see the reality of it these kind of people could be studied. What kind of emotional things happened during that time and what caused the particular thing to occur? And all of these things can be determined through scientific analysis. Mm -hmm. However, um, the majority of people on the planet, as I've previously stated, uh, are pretty resistive to the scientific analysis of the existence of a spirit world and the existence of life after death. 
And as a result of that, many of us go around blind to the fact that we have a continuing life after we've passed from the earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay.